video, I'm going to share five mistakes that I think young musicians and composers are making. My name is Maria Finkelmeyer. I'm a percussionist, a composer, an artist, and professor at Berklee College of Music. And all along the way, from 10 years ago graduating grad school to now, I've made a lot of these mistakes. So here we go. The first mistake I think that young people are making is thinking faster equals better. So I mean this in two ways. The first way is just musically, like more notes, Faster tempos equals you are a better person, a better musician, you're gonna get more gigs. Not so much. A musician that can play lush, that can play with other folks, like in a chamber and setting or in a band, people that communicate well, those are the folks that I'm gonna be hiring. And the music that I love and that I'm listening to and the composers that I think are getting work are balancing intensity with silence and with space. That also translates to the real world. Getting a gig right after school getting that big moment, happening at that moment doesn't matter. It can happen any time in your career. Having this like catapult right away doesn't equal better. There are people that have these high moments throughout the career at different times and if it doesn't happen for you right when you step out the door, it's okay because faster does not equal better. It's just a pace. The second one is assuming that the phone will just ring. I'm very good at what I do. Someone will find me and call me. You know, that is a beautiful idea and a beautiful theory, but the reality is, is you need to be out in the community that you wanna be working in. You need to be going and shaking people's hands, giving other people accolades. I always say if you move to some place new or you just graduate, you go to as many concerts and many art openings and as many events as you actually perform. You kind of engage with the other composers that you're really excited about because you have to physically be in those spaces for the phone to ring. The talent, boom, is a huge check mark for sure, but it's also meeting those people that might give you the opportunities and making yourself known. The next one is, all right, delaying practice. So what I mean by this is getting better at music, understanding your compositional voice, playing your instrument really well is a daily practice. It takes hours, it takes focus. And when you say, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, or I'll just do it later in my life. I will assure you life gets more complex as you go. So use the time that you have to make sure that you are really practicing and honing your craft every day. Even if it's a chaotic day, taking a half an hour, taking an hour to pick up your instrument or write a new melody or writing a new beat or producing a new beat, having these little increments a day are going to benefit you as you move through your career. The next is really important as well. The next mistake that you might make as a young musician and composer is not learning how to pitch, all right? What do I mean by pitch? Pitch is to actually talk about yourself, your ideas, your business, whatever you foresee or what you vision in your future, you need to learn how to articulate it clearly. And so that's saying, here's what I'm doing, here's why I'm doing it, here's who I'm doing it for, and here's how I want you to get involved. We spend a lot of time alone, behind closed doors, practicing, right? But we have to get out there, we have to be patient, and we have to take those moments when we are interacting with other people and we have to practice talking about what we want and what we wanna do. So to help you do this, to help you pitch, to help you connect and get your ideas out there, I've created a free downloadable workbook that's going to take you through a process from brainstorming to language creation to framing to help you articulate your ideas and get it out there. So click on the link and grab yours. And last uh, mistake that we all make, and I still make every day, but I'm better at reversing it, is believing you're not, oh, can't draw, evidently can't draw Q, but that says unique. <laughs> My writing is unique, you are unique, I am unique. And what we feel in this world of high competition, and also of creativity being kind of everywhere in the digital space, is we forget that our existence is really special. How you live, how you make choices, what you think, your taste, your skill set is really, really special. And there is a place for it out in the world. So while it, you might have moments of feeling overwhelmed, I want you to always believe that you're unique and believe that your skill and your vision and your talent has value out in the world. There's space for you. Try not to make these mistakes, but also understand that we all have these moments. These are mistakes that you can easily reverse and you can easily undo if you just stay focused. You get out there, you hone your craft, and you clearly articulate what you're gonna do. I really believe that you're gonna be successful.